What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make another classic we haven't made yet, the bee's knees. Plus we're gonna give it a little truffles on rocks treatment, making a mashup of the bee's knees and the penicillin. The flavor profiles of these two drinks go so well together, plus both of them are widely appreciated, so I'm very confident that this is going to be a good one. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Alright, so the bee's knees dates back from the prohibition and it's basically just a gin sour with honey as a sweetener. Back to when we had to hide the smell and taste of alcohol because it was illegal but mostly because bathtub gin was known to be horrible, honey with its intense flavor was doing the trick just fine. So let's start with the classic and then we'll evolve with the mashup. So first in our shaker we're gonna add 2 ounces of gin. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, and I like to use a two to one ratio by weight. So two parts of honey for one part of water by weight. Then we're gonna add ice and shake for about 10 seconds. Fine strain in our cool glass. We're gonna express some lemon oils over the cocktail. Garnish the drink with the zest. And there you have it, the bee's knees. Cheers. Mm. It's bright, crisp, refreshing, super straightforward. And while it is true that the honey is an intense flavor and it's the main one in this cocktail, in contrary to the Prohibition era, when we wanted to hide the taste of the gin, here, if you choose wisely, now that we have access to beautiful gins, you're gonna develop way more depth and complexity to your cocktail. Today I'm using Impress, which is the sponsor of today's episode, and I think it's a great choice for the bee's knees. Here's why. It's not the first time I say this on the channel. I've been working a lot with Impress in the past, and I hope I'm gonna keep on doing so, because I love the gin. And after making all these cocktails with it, for me, one of the best ways to describe it is versatility. I have yet to find a classic template that doesn't work with Impress. Really, I've tried pretty much all the classic cocktails with it, and all of them were great. But while it is versatile, it also has its unique signature flavor flavor profile and I love to highlight it to make better cocktails. We get with Impress that gin per kick we need and love in a gin, but it's also for me the perfect balance between lighter and earthier notes. We get some floral and citrus notes with rose petals and grapefruit zest, but on the other side we get some tannins with a tea blend that's distilled and also some earthy notes with ginger and licorice roots. And for me, these two ingredients are the ones that inspired me to mash up the bees on penicillin. Adding some ginger and smoke from the penicillin in our bee's knees and some licorice in our syrup will make the botanicals of our gin pop and make the perfect fall cocktail. So first we need to make our syrup. To do so, we're gonna need some honey syrup, fresh ginger, and licorice roots. First we're gonna need 80 grams of finely chopped fresh ginger. So weigh about 90 grams of unpeeled ginger, peel it, and after that, you should have about 80 grams. Cut it in small pieces, and set it aside. Then in a sous vide bag, gonna add four grams of licorice root in small pieces, your 80 grams of finely chopped fresh ginger, and 250 ml of two to one ratio honey syrup. Seal the bag, but don't vacuum it if you don't wanna make a mess, and place it in a water bath with a precision cooker and the temperature set at 80 Celsius. You're gonna leave that cooking for two hours, and then you're simply gonna fine strain it to remove the solids. Bottle it up, and this is how we make the syrup. By cooking the ginger like this in the syrup, rather than making a syrup by juicing some ginger, we're gonna get something spicy, but also something candied, which I really love in a ginger syrup. Then for the licorice root, for those of you who are not familiar with this ingredient, it's not at all like black licorice, like bitter black anise flavored licorice. It's more like a sweet, earthy flavor, and it's really pleasant in cocktails. It had some texture as well. It goes very well with the ginger, and with the botanicals in our gin. So now that we have our syrup, we can make the cocktail. Very straightforward once again. We're gonna add to our shaker two ounces of Impress.
one ounce of lemon juice. And three quarters of an ounce of our syrup. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and shake it for about 10 seconds. Next, instead of the peated scotch float for the smoke, we're gonna smoke our glass with some hickory wood. Strain our cocktail over the ice. And for the final touch, a couple of spray of mezcal. I'm gonna add a piece of ginger for the garnish. And there you have it, the bees on penicillin. Cheers. Wow. So here's the deal. If you try this at home, which I hope you're gonna do, you will probably agree with me that this is closer to a bee's knees than it is from a penicillin, but we still get beautiful components from the penicillin in the cocktail. The smoke is very well incorporated because we smoked a glass with a smoke top rather than adding a float of peated scotch, which I tried by the way, but I didn't like the result of the peated scotch pairing with the gin. But because we didn't have the float, I felt that we were missing that boozy, smoky aroma. So that's why I added a couple of spray of mezcal instead and then it was pairing perfectly. So now we have a beautiful cocktail, a beautiful bee's knees, super complex with beautiful autumn flavors and aroma. I think it's gonna be perfect for your fall party. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before we go. Turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss anything. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Oh, and thank you very much, Impress, for sponsoring this episode. Link to their website in the description below.